Good morning and welcome to our presentation. Our group members are Aliyah Anderson, Faith Manning, Odeli Crandon, Jamela Mans, and Rochelle Sardanan. Today we are looking at the Chinese. Zhao Shang Hao, which means good morning in the Chinese language. Our group will be presenting on the Chinese ethnic group in Guyana. So here is a little brief history of the Chinese ethnic group in Guyana. The Chinese ethnic group in Guyana has a history dating back to the mid 19th century. The first wave of the Chinese immigrants arrived in the 1850s as indentured laborers brought in by the British colonial authority to address the labor shortage. These Chinese immigrants work on the sugar plantation, enduring challenging conditions similar to other indentured laborers from different parts of Asia. After their contract expired, some decided to stay in Guyana and pursue various occupations, contributing to the country's cultural and economic diversity. Chinese Music Chinese music is a rich, diverse heart. Here are some main types of Chinese music. Traditional Chinese music. This type encompasses a wide range of regional music that has been passed down through generation. Traditional Chinese music often features unique instruments such as the guqin, which is a seven-string guitar. Next we have the piper, which is a pear-shaped lute. Next we have the harhu, which is a two-string fiddle. Next we have the tz, which is a bamboo flute. Chinese opera is another type of Chinese music. Chinese opera is a performance art that combines music, singing, acting, and acrobatics. Next we have Chinese pop, also called C-pop, which refers to a popular music in China that incorporates elements of Western pop, rock, hip-hop, and electronic music. Next we have Chinese folk music. Folk music in China varies greatly from region to region reflecting the country's diverse cultural heritage. It includes music played during festival weddings and other traditional celebrations. And lastly, we have Chinese rock music. Rock music has gained popularity in China since the 1980s and has become an important part of the contemporary music scene. In the cultural diverse nation of Guyana, various ethnic groups have contributed to the richness that defines its identity. Among these are the Chinese economic communities who migrated to this South America country, bringing with them their unique artistic expression. First, we have the Aka community. The Aka People arrived in Guyana during the late 19th century as indentured laborers seeking a better life. Their cultural artifacts showcase resilience. 
resilience and adaptable through intrinsicated wood cravings known as Kichai Wenwu. These exquisite pieces often feature traditional motifs such as dragon symbolizing power or phoenix representing good fortune. Another Chinese artistic expression is the Cantonese tradition. Cantonese immigrants introduced several distinctive art forms to Guyanese culture. One key example is the lion dance performance, which is done during festive occasion like Lunar New Year celebration. This energetic display combines marital arts movement with elaborate lion costume reflecting vibrancy and strength. Notably, each color used on these majestic creations creatures. All specific meaning, red represents bravery while golden ooze signify wealth and prosperity. Another Chinese artistic expression is the Chinese, the Guyanese Chinese calligraphy. Calligraphy has become an important art form interwoven within the fabric of Chinese culture. In Guyana, calligra calligraphic expression of merge with local influences to create a unique style that reflects both heritage and adaptation artists blend traditional strokes with caribbean inspired motifs resulting in captivating pieces of artwork through their art brush they communicate values such as harmony and peace while preserving their ancestors' tradition. The final artistic expression for Chinese for this presentation is painting. Classical Chinese artists believe that painting should not be limited by the actual color of the subject matter. For instance, bamboo could be portrayed using only black ink as a result the use of color decreased and painting solely with ink became increasingly prevalent ink wash painting made full use of the tinting and bleeding effect that could be achieved with brush ink and water transcending the limitation of realistic color and offering artists artists greater creative freedom Chinese. I will be focusing on the Chinese food. The Chinese food. The Chinese arrived through various shipment by the sugar estate owners. As a result, the food was introduced to the Guyanese society. Chinese cuisine is very popular in Guyana and can be found in many restaurants and street vendors throughout the country. The food contributed to Guyana by the Chinese are chow mein, fried rice, wonton soup, sweet and sour relish, and chop chow. Chinese. I will be focusing on the Chinese food. The Chinese food. The Chinese arrived through various shipment by the sugar estate owners. As a result, the food was introduced to the Guyanese society. Chinese cuisine is very popular in Guyana and can be found in many restaurants and street vendors throughout the country. The food contributed to Guyana by the Chinese are chow mein, Fried rice, wonton soup, sweet and sour relish, and chop chow. Ni hao Sam, which simply means hello, good morning. My name is Russell Sutherland and I'll be looking at the Chinese language and holiday. Chinese language. 
As of last update in September 2021, Chinese language and culture has a presence in Guyana, primarily due to the historical migration of the Chinese community to the country. However, the use of Chinese languages is not as widespread as some of the other languages in Guyana. The Chinese community in Guyana mainly comprises of descendants of the Chinese immigrants who arrived in the 19th and 20th century, primarily from Guanda province in China. They have played a significant role in the country development, particularly in the area of commerce and agriculture. While Chinese language such as the Contenancy and the Aka are spoken within the Chinese community, English and Guyanese Creole are most commonly used for communication with the broader population. Many Chinese Guyanese are bilingual or multilingual, speaking both English and Chinese language, along with other languages like Creole, Hindi, depending on their family background and interaction. Chinese holiday. In Guyana, where a significant Chinese community resides, the Chinese New Year or Spring Festival is one of the most prominent Chinese holiday celebrated as mentioned earlier. The Chinese New Year is a major cultural and traditional event for the Chinese diaspora worldwide. And it holds a special significance for the Chinese Guyanese community as well. During the Chinese New Year celebration in Guyana, you can expect to see various festivities and cultural activities taking place. These may include the dragon dance, the traditional Chinese music, and dance performances, martial arts demonstration, and the lighting of firecrackers to ward off evil. The Chinese Guyanese community also engage in family gatherings, feasting on special dishes and exchanging of gifts or the red envelopes, or the agbua, with money are often given to children and unmarried individuals as a symbol of good luck and prosperity for the new year. While Chinese New Year is the most notable Chinese holiday celebrated in Guyana, other Chinese festivals and cultural events might also be observed within the Chinese community. However, the extent and the scale of these celebration may vary based on the location and the Chinese population in the country. As culture evolves and adapt over time, the ways Chinese holidays are celebrated in Guyana may have unique local flavor and differences compared to the celebration in China or other countries with significant Chinese population. So long, Shen Shen, which simply means thank you.